Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a drink, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. I wanted to talk today about gearing in Path of Exile, and specifically for spellcasters, because spellcasters have been one of the more significant forces in the Path of Exile meta in recent times. And one of the complaints that I've seen raised by a number of people is they feel build diversity is not very high at the moment. Now, numerically, build diversity is at somewhat of an all-time high in Path of Exile. No skills are exceeding 10% of the meta, and while Seer Cultus is overperforming, it's not doing so by an enormous amount. And if we have a look at earlier in this league, you'll see that it's a similar story. Again, Occultus overperforming, but not anything like the 40% of people playing Slayers that we had in 3.8 or anything like that. And again, no skills tremendously overperforming. Going back to day four of the league, you see a little bit more skill overperforming, but still nothing ridiculous. You've got 10% of people playing Seismic Trap, and the Elementalist Saboteur, they're both overperforming early, but nothing is really, really, really out of whack, except for a few things down the bottom. However, despite this, a number of people have been complaining about build diversity feeling bad, and I think the reason for that is that the way that you gear most casters is so fundamentally similar that basically they feel like, even though they might be playing Spark one league, and then Righteous Fire the next, they feel like they're playing somewhat the same build because their upgrade path is so similar. Let me explain. There are a couple of mods that are simply better than any other prefix that you can get on a caster weapon. And they're so much better that they just completely outclass everything else you could get. These are mods like Flame Shapers, plus one to the level of all fire spell skill gems. And if you're playing a skill like Spark, instead you'd have plus one to the level of all lightning skill gems there. And the Universal Version Magisters, plus one to the level of all spell skill gems. These don't actually obsolete flat damage during the campaign. In fact, flat damage is generally better until about the point that you hit Eternal Labyrinth. And potentially even later than that, if you get a near perfect roll on a mod like Cremating here. Cremating is the top tier of flat fire damage to spells, and this is only one point off a perfect roll here on this particular item. This is far better than a plus one level until about gem level 24. However, once you start stacking all of these plus the level of gem levels, and you can get two on each weapon, you can get one on each shield, you can get two on an amulet, and there's a few other sources like Vile Corruptions, or just corrupting the gem itself, or using Empower, Awakened Empower, Skin of the Lords, or Skin of the Loyal, all of these can cause you to get your gems up to around the 28, 29, 30 mark, at which point even a perfect roll on cremating is just nothing like getting an additional gem level. Now I've run the numbers on this so that you don't have to. Using this cremating wand, if you've got a gem level 26 rolling magma, adds about 75% as much damage as using just the Flame Shapers mod, plus one for the level of all fire spell skill gems would. And the higher the gem level is, if it's not level 26, if it's level 29 without this, then it pulls away by even more and more and more again. In short, these mods and the other prefixes on caster weapons can't keep up with plus one to the level of spell gems, and they can't even come close to it. I would like to see some increases to the highest tiers of mods like cremating, so that they can actually be competitive, so that you don't see people using all of the same gear. Now, if you're playing a build that's not hitting, then at that point you'll start chasing those plus one to the level of fire skill gems still. But on the flip side, if you're playing a build that hits, then suddenly you might be interested in mods that these days are just not really what you're looking for, such as flat damage to spells. This will make builds feel more different to each other, which I think is something that will increase the perception of build diversity, even if it doesn't change the actual level of build diversity in the game. I'd also like to see flat damage to spells mods are made available for physical and chaos earlier than they currently are. They are currently available, but they're in the Elder Influence mod pool, and the numerical values are lower than they are for elemental damage. So that would also be something I'd like to see changed. Again, that would potentially add more variability to the way that spellcasters are geared without necessarily adding any top-end power. And I think that'd be a good thing. May your Valorbs have interesting results.